Good afternoon everyone and welcome to what is usually my most exciting video of the season. And I get four seasons, so that's four exciting videos every year. Today it's going to be my getting my home ready for autumn. We are just about to move into September and for me, I'm sorry, but that's autumn. It is blustery. We are just on the back end of a storm, probably one of the scariest storms I think I've ever experienced in this house. I feel like we never really experienced like actual storms and like high level winds at our old house because it was just so sheltered because it was sort of like in the main town essentially. But here, hoo 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 hoo, mother nature takes her gloves off, okay? Because wow, it is unreal. I don't think that my second sowing of spinach survived the storm, sadly. We're gonna check on them and make sure that they're all right. But ah, it is that time of year when it's blustery, it's starting, like the temperature is starting to go back down. We were sort of up in like the 25s and the 30s and now we are moving down to sort of like the, the 19s and the 18s, which for me, that's full on winter. We had the, the fire on last night, it was wonderful. So in this video, I'm going to be getting my home ready for the colder months. So dusting off blankets and getting them out. I'm trying to decide whether I'm gonna order the new covers for these sofas. So funny story, I wrote a blog post about like um, how I love these sofas, which I do by the way, I'll link it in the description box down below. However, of course I go and pick the most expensive covers for these sofas, like the most expensive. So to do the two chairs, the two sofas and the two buffets, it's going to be. But that's still cheaper than the sofas that I initially wanted from Neptune. And so yeah, maybe it's sort of like the color of them. We're gonna be changing it to more of like this, this kind of like oatmeal-y, beige -y color, which just looks the same here. Oh, look at that, make a wish. There you go, you can kind of see it a little bit better there. So it's just a, a beautiful linen, um, similar to this, not this actual one, but it's, it's similar. Anyway, first and foremost though, I think that I have just been delivered a bunch of flowers. I received a lot of flowers last week um, and I feel like I want to start this video off by saying thank you for that because I was not in any way, shape or form expecting any flowers to be sent to me um, after I shared the stories. Um, but I did receive just the most wonderful bunches of flowers from so many amazing ladies from the industry, people that I follow, people that I love, and um, it really did lift my spirits. I don't know who these ones are from, um, I don't, but they are from the flower box. So, my flowers are from Rosie Londoner. They're doing, they're doing well still. I'm gonna be so sad when these flowers are gone. I think this is possibly my most favorite bunch of flowers I've ever received. These green hydrangeas are just beautiful. And then with like the pink roses and the little, the kind of like foxgloves, oh, they're just gorgeous. I love the way it looked as well. It looked so nice in my kitchen. And then I put it in this Hudson, Hudson Home vase and it just looks so pretty. Let's get these flowers out before they absolutely wilt. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. A different sort of version. So this is white hydrangeas, but with pink roses. Oh, that's lovely. Totally unexpected, but so lovely. This is from the, the girls at Golan. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. I'm going to get these into water straight away, which is one of my favourite things to do on this channel. Just flower arrange. I love flower arranging. This is one of my favourite vases to use. It's like a little, a little milk jug. I don't know if these are going to fit though. They might be too big. They might need something bigger. Look at those flowers sitting pretty. They look like they got a little bit battered en route, but hopefully with the food in there and some fresh water, they will come alive again. Um, these ones, I don't think they're gonna last much longer, but I'm clinging onto them for dear life. <laughs> but before I get into um, the little change up in the house, I think <laughs> this is from Alutex, my greenhouse, well, my greenhouse of dreams and I was really kind of wowed by the um, inspo 
of a book that the guy had of all of the Alitex greenhouses. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'd love to like borrow that. Um, I don't know if they're, well, there's no note in here, so I'm guessing I can keep it. You're gonna have to grab it out of your hands. So I'm guessing that because they haven't said I have to give it back, this is now mine. <laughs> <laughs> I've claimed it as my own, but let me show you. When um, he showed me this book, I was like, wow, so much inspo. Look, babe, they've, th th in this one, they've got a water feature here, look. But, like, look at all of the... They like fixed um, meshes that go over the... I think so, yeah. Made out of oak. Look at that, for a Col kitchen garden. Colosseum. Wow, Couple pond points. in the middle. This is Delia Smith's kitchen garden. How amazing is that? Although, he did point out, she should have had a porch-fronted one because... That would yeah. have just looked lovely going in there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Look at that. That's the kind of thing I'd want in one corner. What, like a, a little tap tape. Sink. Oh, no, I'd love a tap in a sink, but. Mm. Wow. Nova Scotia. So, there are a few elements that I consider when I'm getting ready to sort of give my house a little bit of a refresh. Um, first of all, I think of the way that I want my house to smell. So, I take smells very very seriously and um, I always like it when people come into my house and they're like oh it smells like this or oh it smells like that and um, I really find personally that smells are really really like transportative that may not be a word but we're gonna use it anyway it can just like transport you and make you feel um, lots of different feelings and vibes and especially when it comes to like autumn and winter I want it to feel quite cozy and um, I like quite smoky candles usually and I was going to order two um, of the diptyque but feu de bois, I can't remember how you say it but it's like the smoky one and I may well still order those for Christmas and like winter time instead but they are very expensive so I wasn't sure so I've actually gone and I've ordered I did a little bit of a white company order um, of some candles so I do that first I do like kind of the the candles and set them up around the house so that you get like maximum smell especially when you walk in and it's like ooh. and then I also tend to either change out my wreath I'm gonna try and reuse a wreath from last year this year instead because I've got two wreaths that I really really love I actually really loved my my autumn wreath I think it was either last year or the year before but the the red berries like leaked all over our door and it looked like someone had died and so we ended up having to throw that one away but it was so beautiful because it was really like warm oranges so I think I'm gonna put one of those wreaths on because that's kind of like the first thing that you see when you um come up to the front door and I think that's really important I always find them quite welcoming and and like warming exactly Lumi you do always agree with your mummy on these things you are a very very good girl okay but don't interrupt no no don't I tend to have a bit of a change out with the flowers of um, the cleaning fragrances and things like that I actually haven't haven't found cleaning fragrances that I want to use this year yet but I'm gonna get out my blankets and um, just start getting out all of the warmer cozier things I've also I've done a little bit of a dried flower order I ordered them from where did I order is it Buster and Punch I was really quite intrigued by their like preserved flowers so I did an order from them. I've also got a Neptune order coming so I've got some bits that I'm going to sort of put out and dress the area um, and just redress the house and give it a bit of a refresh with you because it excites me so much. But I do also have, um, I've got reflexology this evening which is my first reflexology since must be March or February which I'm so looking forward to. It's good because lots of people are taking things so like seriously and there's lots of like precautions in place so um i have to wear a mask which is gonna be a bit of a shame during the treatment because i usually fall asleep and i've never slept with a mask on but we shall see i'm gonna get into white company box first because there's some little trinkets which i think are really really cute for like autumn and i picked up something for our sink area that's just a new sort of like i just it's a little bit of a home homeware haul i think so the one thing i love from the white company is their seasonal offerings they really do such good offerings and so this is their autumn candle which is pear quince and amber i love amber and i've got the little tray for this to sit on as well but i love amber candles and quince jam is a personal fave so that will be really in i actually haven't smelt this yet so you never know, it might be an absolute failure, but White Company Spring and White Company Winter. I mean, winter is iconic, isn't it? So I purchased two of these candles because I do trust their, their seasonal offerings and I'll pop these around the house and light them. 
for special occasions. So I've got two of those. And this little box I think is my new little tray for by the sink. I did have a marble one, but it fell, it completely fell apart. So I thought I'd try this one out. It might be a bit small. We shall see. But it looks very cute and goes with a lot of the stuff in the kitchen anyway. Two, I need to wipe down the surface, so ignore it. Nice little sink tidy there. It's just a matter of shushing it around, isn't it? And then, in here is what I thought was very cute. So these little mini autumnal pumpkin play settings. So you just pop these in the middle of your plate, probably on top of your um, linen napkins or something like that. I saw that you could add like a little wheat sheaf and this to the table. I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give the table a little bit of a dress, although I'm gonna have to wait because I've got a new dinner set coming. So I'm so excited. Basically, we realized that all of my mugs from my dinner set have been broken now because they've been given to like tradesmen and then they break them and they don't tell us and then we're like, where have all of our mugs gone? Also, the, the um, these plates have got like a sort of, they must have like a coating or something, but they've just gone a bit, a bit not very nice. So we're gonna keep them, we're not throwing them away. We'll keep them for like spares and things like that. We've got a cupboard up there where we keep like spare um, plates, crockery and things like that. So they'll go up there and then I've got this new set coming and it's kind of the fine line between the Astier de Villat style that I loved. Yeah, I'm really glad that I tested things out with the mugs first because um, they're just very delicate and obviously, obviously as we saw, Ali broke one of them. So I haven't made him buy me a new one of those and um, I'm still gonna use them. I love them and they're beautiful. But um, maybe as a dinner set, they would never really get the, the wear that I would love for them to get. So I'm gonna keep like collecting the little sort of ornamental things and vases because I love their vases and pots and things like that. But for a dinner set, this was the one that I found and I was like, that's it, that's exactly what I want. It's got a little bit of detail into it, looks quite rustic. But anyway, you'll see it when I, um, when I get it because I literally ordered the whole thing. But I thought these were super cute. Like, look how little they are. So that's from the White Company. This, I'm not sure what to expect, but basically I just loved the colours and the warmth of some of the um, preserved flowers that they did on Buster and Punch. They did send me a bunch when they launched, but they weren't really um, to my taste. I ordered a lot, by the way. <laughs> when you first get yourself, carefully move it from the packaging and place it into your favourite vase. You'll be tempted to give it a quick zhuzh, but remember, that this is a real plant and stop. <laughs> Give it a few days and it will naturally, naturally, and it will naturally settle into its own home. By following the tips below, your preserved plant will remain beautiful for several years. These were the ones that made me place my first order. So these are hydrangeas and they are obviously a little bit smushed, but they have said that they will, they will open up. I'm gonna pop these into a little vase because these are just a slightly sort of ivory colored tone and they just look so warm and so beautiful for this time of year. I also got the pistachio colored ones but I think they might be a little bit green for my color palette. They're not the same kind of green as those sadly. So I'm going to pop these into this one so that they open out. bunches of the heather and also a bunch of eucalyptus which I just think this colour is absolutely beautiful. So it's sort of like this deep red which I thought would just look so lovely um, but I'm kind of liking these two together. These guys I think look really lovely in this kitchen. Obviously the green is a little bit too green. <laughs> but yeah I think I'm gonna have a play around with these and see what and where they can go in the house. I have set up this little area here. I'm gonna obviously move this candle away from these when I light it so that it's not um, gonna burn them. But I feel like my kitchen looks like an actual 
wedding venue with all of these hydrangeas and roses. I've given this uh, like bunch from Pamplemousse in Devon, I've given it a new lease of life and threw away the ones that were dying. I think these are so versatile, it's ridiculous. I think that these could be used for weddings. They look beautiful as centerpieces. Um, hopefully I'll be able to show you when they've kind of flattened out a little bit and had a little bit of a zhuzh. Uh, I am gonna have a little cup of tea, a little decaf tea. Um, and some nice biscuits. They are called nice biscuits, okay? I'm not having it. I'm not having you guys proving me wrong with Googling what a nice biscuit is actually called. It's called a nice biscuit because they're nice. Here it, it says that they're called nice. They're called nice. <laughs> Ali had his first plate of them yesterday and he was like, oh yeah, I do know what these are. I was like, we're about to actually leave the house, which is exciting. I'm gonna go to my first reflexology appointment and so looking forward to it. And I'm so looking forward to coming home later and reading my book. I'm so excited. If I look a little bit disheveled, it's because I am. I just fell asleep for the first time in a treatment for a very, very long time and it was so good to be back. I hate it when people cross over into those like middle sections when they're gonna turn right and they just sort of like hang over the edge. Like why would you do that? Anyway, that was bloody lovely. Oh my goodness. Um, I just had my reflexology. Honestly, I can feel like the tension in my neck and my head just, uh. So I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna have some dinner and um, I'm gonna read my book for the rest of the evening because it's, it's now time for some downtime. So I shall see you when I get home because my camera is all over the place. So is my hair. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is a typical autumn day today. Ali is currently working out down in the basement. I'm up and dressed. I'm freshly faked hand as well. And um, I haven't eaten since eight o'clock last night. <laughs> I had my, um, I had to fast because I have a blood test today. Um, where's my belt? So I'm going to the hospital, but I have a private appointment to go and get a blood test just because right now I just think that, um, getting appointments anywhere for me has been a little bit of a nightmare anyway i've popped on my alexander mcqueen belt i'm wearing in fact this does not need to be this tight who am i trying to impress with my tiny waist <laughs> nobody i am like itching for a coffee right now and apparently i can't even have like black coffee which is my morning ritual so what i'm gonna do where are my boots what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and have my blood test Fingers crossed I don't faint. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do a Starbucks run for everyone because apparently the pumpkin spice lattes are, they, they've arrived. So um, I think I might do that. I think we've got Ali's manager here today for a little bit. And also exciting times, but my new dinner set hopefully arrives today. And it's perfect because I'm actually entertaining this evening at my house. So it means I can set the table all like autumnal and um, get the house ready and things like that. I've got a lot to do today though, so um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a stretch. And my friend Chris gets here at like three. <laughs> I've got a lot to do. Where's my perfume? I need perfume. Of course, when the weather turns, there is but one fragrance. The fragrance that made me fall in love with the brand. Oh, just so lovely. What the heck should I take today? I'm gonna go for the icon because this is just so lovely and autumnal and I like the way the gold goes nicely with the belt but isn't like too matchy-matchy so this is the bag I'm gonna take today. Okay, it's got a lot of crap in it. I always find money in bags and I'm like, oh, I'm rich. <laughs> Lol, this is from when I picked up my Mercedes. Ooh, one of my Burford Garden Center receipts. Ouch. 120 pounds, who spends that amount at garden centre? I spend that amount at garden centre. <laughs> Evidently, the person that has carrot seeds on their dressing table, that's who. 
Okay, outfit of the day. I will link in the description box. I've got Calcedonia tights on, Chloe boots, my good old Chloe boots. Oh, these were such a great purchase. I can't believe they haven't brought them back. The only thing I would say is I would hope on the next ones they don't put the strap and the buckle around the top because that buckle is so painful when you cross your legs. Other than this, everything will be linked in the description box down below. I'm using this bag as well, which I love. And um, heading off for my blood test and a big, big coffee on the way home. Oh my goodness, such a miserable day. Such a miserable day, but it feels very autumnal so I'm not moaning. But I do think that I would be very lucky if my hair lasts any time at all in this dampness. Right, sat nav car on, let's get the heated seats on. Who cares that it's 14 degrees still? <laughs> I said to Ali, I was like, we need to turn the heating up. He was like, I don't think we ever turned it down. <laughs> I'm like, well, turn it up. <laughs> I have just got back. I've been um, unboxing items on the kitchen island, but it does look like my new dinner set is just pulling up on the driveway and I'm very, very excited about this. <laughs> there are three boxes that have just arrived. I'm not going to get into them just yet because I need to tidy up in here. I've got um, some new in bits from Saint Tropez. I'm actually going to be trying their dark and extra dark. I just thought I'd give it a whirl, um, but I have done my tan this morning with the um, Express. So um, I'm not going to obviously do it today. I've got lots of my little facey mists, which I love, and then skin prep, always important. So I'm going to pop those upstairs. Obviously, I work regularly with Saint Tropez and um, this is just a perk of the job that they will sometimes offer me to um, get a top up, but often I'll just buy it myself because I use it so much. So I'm gonna pop this in my makeup storage cupboard and get it upstairs. I've all, ooh, it's a ghost. Um, I've also received a absolutely huge bag from Karen Millen. I think I'm gonna sit down and film a haul, but like just a sort of vlog style haul in my dressing room maybe, just so it's easy and I can do it quickly. I've also got some bits from Dior. This is a new palette. Oh, goodness me. New little palette, which is very much my, if you remember the Amber Neutrals palette, very similar. And then a Dior Iconic Overcurl. So I'm gonna try that mascara. And then in here, I've got some Intimissimi bits because we love Intimissimi. I've got my Intimissimi vest on today. Right. Now we're gonna get into the boxes and I'm going to show you the dinner set that I ordered because I think that it is blooming lovely. So just don't mind me whilst I lug in the boxes. Oh my God, that's so heavy. <sighs> Neptune, if you happen to be watching, I'd love it if you could do the sets in like six, eight, 10, 12. That would be really good <laughs> because I need more, but I don't need 12. <laughs> it is going to be interesting to see how much has survived, because these were actually sent by a courier. I wasn't expecting that. I thought they'd be like delivered on a like Neptune kind of van or something, because it's obviously an entire dinner set. Yes, I love them. So this is what I wanted to to mention about like the finish of them. So this has got ribbing on it, but it's all distressed, very kind of like earthenware vibes. And it's just gorgeous. This is the like teacups that come with saucers. They've all got kind of different features to them, if it makes sense. So then these plates have got the little bobbles on them, which is very similar to the Astier de Villat stuff but it's also got the ribbing, so it looks really cute in there. So that is one teacup. Well, so far, in fact, no, I'm not even gonna say it because I'm literally in the first box, so I have no idea if anything is broken, but they feel very sturdy, which is good, very, very good. And what I'm going to do is redress these shelves with the new set and pop these into there. And if anyone, this is my warning, my official warning from my video, if anyone gives the 
Blooming tradesmen, my nice mug. I'll be livid. Because literally they broke all of my white company ones. I was like, where have all of my white company mugs gone? Bowie bowies. So again, they've got the ribbing detail and the little bobbles and they've all got the little distressed, distressed feel. Six bowls. I love them. They're all just like beaten and imperfect. I love that. So these are obviously a little side plate. You think it's probably me that's been moaning about the dinner set, but I'm just upset that I've been put in a position where I have to buy a new one because um, Ali's been moaning so much about the way that the plates feel. He doesn't like it. I think he's one of those people that's really funny with um, things feeling clean. Lovely little salad bowl. New mugs. New muggies. So gorgeous and so robust. Very happy. Actually, to be honest with you, they're wrapped, they're wrapped and packaged really well. So far, I'm just not gonna say it. Why do I keep going to say it? I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> jugs were not essential for the, for the dinner set, but I loved them and I love jugs for flowers. I actually personally prefer jugs over like actual vases. So this is the tall, the tall jug. So I don't know if that's like the biggest one or not, but you can also obviously put like drinks and things. Ha, huh. the medium jug. Which is like that size, which would be good for things like gravy. This would be the, the smallest one. So I think this one's probably better for cream and things like that. <laughs> little cute jug. Teapot, one little teapot. I can't believe that these guys have survived so far. I keep going to say it. And they're all just packaged with cardboard and recyclable pieces. Very happy. Little teapot. Oh, so cute. These are the new pasta bowls. I'm gonna obviously put these through the dishwasher and these will probably get used this evening. I love how big they are. Big pasta portions are my fave. And the final box, which I'm presuming is going to be the dinner plates. Right, time to run these through the dishwasher and then I'm going to load them into our little, what's it called? Display shelves. Mm. The new crockery is all in place, although we have just eaten off of the plates and the table over here is set for pasta this evening to change the white balance there because it was very blue. Um, but yeah, everything is set here. I've got um, more from this, the collection here. Um, I wanted everything to match, so I've moved the Astia de Balat stuff out of here and had a bit of a tidy up. I've also sorted the guest bedroom for my friend to stay. Um, and Ali and I have just decided that tomorrow we're gonna have a big gardening sesh. We've got Ken and Graham here finishing off some painting. Um, there's scaffolding over there. So I think that I will leave as the weather has just turned. It's literally about to, I think, storm. There are some big, big old black clouds out there and the wind has definitely picked up. So if I leave this little autumnal vlog here um, and hopefully you enjoyed it. I've just been here, there and everywhere. My arm has started to feel a lot better, although I think I've got a puncture on my car. Because when I got out of my car at the hospital, I could hear this and then um, I checked my tire, but obviously because they're run flats, it's um, not, like it still shows as pumped up, but it's showing that it's lost pressure. So I'm guessing that I'm gonna need to buy a new tire. So after paying 400 pounds for my blood test, I also need a new tire. Fabulous. <laughs> what do you think about that, Lummy Bear? You think wish them a good, good weekend and see them tomorrow? 
<laughs> anyway, I will see you guys in my next vlog when we're gonna have a big old gardening sesh. I'm also gonna show you some bits of the greenhouse and um, we've got some planting to do. I've got some repotting to do. I might sow some seeds if I fancy it. And I shall see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.